Ooh, that's a big, beautiful one. And I didn't even fertilize. Y'all, I don't have to buy bell peppers for my chili. How awesome is that? Rain, sleet, or snow. The work never, ever ends. Especially when you have a homestead. And I have a small one. So I can only imagine what people who have a lot of animals have to deal with. It's cold. It's raining. Thankfully, it ain't snowing. But guess what? I will still have to come out here. So I'll be right back. Let me turn you around. So it's not that bad in here um, as it normally is with the rain I'm about to go and get some pine shavings and put down here I don't have my camera stand so I can't stand you up and plus I don't want my phone to get wet either so I'm gonna go ahead and get that put down and I'll show you it afterwards they love watermelon Of course, I do have to get them some um, feed as well. Keeping them very well um, <laughs> fed when it's cold like this is important, but also keeping them not as wet is also important. Um, I need to go get a pallet. I gotta see if I can remember where I saw some pallets at and see if they'll let me grab like maybe two of them so they can get up on the pallet off of the ground if they so choose to. But I also need to get them some water as well. They have water in there, but it doesn't. Is it water in there? Oh, it's water in there. My bad. My eyes are bad. Hey ladies, yeah, what y'all eating? Watermelon. Hey ladies, yeah, is it good? It sure is. <laughs> I ain't got no sense, y'all. All right, let me go get what I need and get these animals taken care of. Okay, so I got some pine shavings down. Still eating the watermelon and giving some feed out here. And while they are doing that, throw this outside of the page because now I gotta figure it out. Where is their ladder? They keep knocking it down. not in the little holes it need to be in but it's there they still been getting in here they just fly up in it all right leave them to it Although the rabbit should have food. 
I filled them up yesterday. The only thing we probably will need is water. And the theory of hay in this pellet bag. <laughs> for the shoddy camera work today. I'm working without a stand. Okay, so let's get them with the hay because they should already have feed. Yep. He doesn't have a lot, but he does have some. She has some. And she has some. Okay, so now I'm out here doing something I've been putting off, and that is picking, uh, these aren't gonna grow anymore, picking bell peppers, tomatoes, how little they are, but they're still usable. Matter of fact, I'm probably gonna put these in my chili. So, come over to Kitchen Talk with Tommy Bice if you wanna see that recipe. The bell pepper that is I'm gonna put in chili. Just so I don't have to buy any more. Other peppers I'm going to probably try to dehydrate them and grind them up into seasoning. And I've been putting these things off. And these are things that God said you're growing food but you're not preserving the way you're supposed to be it's a big one out there i'm gonna have to go out outside the gate and get that one That's a big, beautiful one, and I didn't even fertilize. Y'all, I don't have to buy bell peppers for my chili. How awesome is that? Banana peppers over here. Let's see if they're any good. Though. I feel like something to eat. Not for one. There's any more bell peppers over here. I don't know if that one's no good. I'm just gonna pop that whole vine off. Go to reseed. So hopefully, I don't have to plant any in the spring. gonna have this kind of a harvest. I was like, let me just go see what's going on out here because really I haven't been coming out here. I've been neglecting the garden. These are good. Oh, I take that back. I did fertilize this little area with uh, rabbit manure. So when you have rabbit So y'all, this is my little harvest. 
right here. I don't have to buy bell peppers for my chili. So again, I say, rain, sleet, or snow. You gotta get your butt out here. Stay here. 